Here I want to explain to you <coughs> the um, saddle node bifurcation. This is a bifurcation which occurs in a nonlinear equation, a one-dimensional bifurcation. The uh, normal form of this bifurcation is x dot equals r plus x squared. r is the bifurcation parameter, and the bifurcation occurs at r equals 0. So to understand how this bifurcation works, we uh, do two things. First, we find the fixed points. And second, we uh, determine the stability of the fixed points. So first, we look at the uh, fixed points. So the fixed points satisfy x dot equals 0. So we have r plus x squared equals 0 at the fixed points or x squared equals minus r. So x is equal to uh, plus or minus the square root of minus r. Okay. So what we see here is that the um, fixed points exist. So these are the two fixed points. So I'll say this is x star has two values. And uh, the fixed points will only exist when r is negative. When r becomes positive, you have the square root of a negative number. So the fixed points become imaginary. We're only looking for real fixed points. So um, fixed points exist only for negative r. So only for r negative or 0, less than or equal to 0. Okay, So that's the first point. Um, and then there are two fixed points. So then we can look at the uh, stability of the fixed points. So our right-hand side in the differential equation is r plus x squared. So this right-hand side, f of x, equals r plus x squared. And the stability depends on the derivative of the right-hand side, which is 2x. So the derivative at the uh, two fixed points, plus or minus root minus r, is equal to plus or minus 2 root minus r. And um, if f prime is negative, then it's stable. So we have uh, one of the fixed points, the, the lower one, which is minus root minus r. This one is, uh, has a negative derivative, so this is stable. And the other fixed point, uh, x star equals plus root minus r, this one is unstable. OK, so only exist for uh, r less than or equal to 0. OK. so. Let's visualize what's going on with this um, bifurcation. So the bifurcation is occurring at r equal to 0. So we can graph, we can make three graphs here. Um, let me draw them. Here's the uh, first graph. Here's the second graph. And here's the third graph. We're going to be graphing um, x dot versus x on each of these graphs. And the point is to visualize what's going on with the bifurcation. So remember here that uh, x dot is equal to r plus x squared. OK? So here, this is, uh, let's look, see what happens when r is negative. OK? So we have um, two uh, fixed points. That means x dot is 0 at two values. And uh, it's uh, equal to uh, r when x equals 0, symmetric about x equals 0. So this graph looks something like 
like uh, the quadratic like this. And there are two fixed points. Uh, how do we see the stability of the fixed points? We can see it graphically um, when x is in this middle region here, x dot is negative. So if we start with a value of x in here, x will be decreasing. So that means we are going this direction here. Out here, x dot is positive. So if we start here, x is increasing. And out here, x dot is positive. So if we start here, x is increasing. So if we draw the stability of the fixed points, there's a fixed point here and there's a fixed point here. And this fixed point is the, the first fixed point on the left. Uh, if we move away from that fixed point, we go towards it. So this fixed point here is a stable fixed point. While the fixed point on the right, if we move away from it, we run away from this fixed point. So this fixed point is unstable, which is what we found. The negative fixed point is stable, and the um, positive fixed point is unstable right here right negative stable positive unstable okay so let's continue with the bifurcation parameter so now let's look at the r equals 0 x dot is x squared so it's just a uh, quadratic that looks like this x squared uh, there's one fixed point then which is right here. So let's see. This is the fixed point. And what happens if we're on the left? x dot's positive, so we move to the right. If we're on the right of the fixed point, x dot's still positive, we move to the right. So depending on where you start the perturbation, if you start on the left side, you go into the fixed point. If you start on the right side, you move away from the fixed point. So this fixed point is unstable, but unstable only for perturbations made uh, positive. Okay. Now let's look what happens when uh, r is uh, greater than 0. Then when x equals 0, x dot is positive. So we've lifted off of the x-axis, and now there are no fixed points. Okay. So in this um, saddle node bifurcation, uh, it looks like we have two fixed points. One's, the negative one is stable. The positive one is unstable. As we vary the bifurcation parameter r, these two fixed points collide at the origin and uh, disappear as x dot lifts above the origin. Okay, so that's one way of viewing these, uh, this uh, bifurcation. Um, another way of viewing this bifurcation is through a uh, bifurcation diagram. And here, the plot that we make, put it in the middle here, we have our um, bifurcation parameter, r, and we have our fixed points, x star. Okay, so we draw the fixed points as a function of the bifurcation parameter, r. So in the case of the saddle node bifurcation, there are only fixed points for negative r down here, right? And remember that here the fixed points, um, Here, x star is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative r, right? So two square roots. And so they come together at the origin here. So the uh, graph, if I draw the graph in red, will look like this one here. OK? So the Plus 1 is unstable, so conventionally you draw that as a dashed line. And the minus 1 is stable, you draw that as a solid line. And this is the bifurcation diagram. 
So what the bifurcation diagram shows us is that when R is negative, there are two fixed points. Uh, the positive one is unstable, the negative one is stable, and then they come together into a single fixed point when R equals zero, and then uh, no more fixed points when R is greater than zero. So this is the typical bifurcation diagram for the saddle node bifurcation.